Hey guys, Steve here, back in another video. Um, if you're new here, um, I'd like to introduce myself. My name is Steve, I'm Irish. I've been a software developer for over 10 years now. Um, I'm trying to build this, this YouTube channel with lots of um, interesting and useful content for you know, maybe new budding software engineers out there or other people who are also interested in you know, different software engineering techniques and topics. Um, obviously, if you're in, into that kind of thing, you know, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Um, what we're going to be doing here today is we're going to be doing some sentiment analysis on uh, some tweets from Twitter. Um, now, what sentiment analysis is, is we're going to take uh, specific tweets and we're going to use a artificial intelligence or machine learning algorithm to determine whether the text within that tweet has positive or negative connotations. So whether the tweet is positive or negative or maybe uh, neutral, you know, it may not be positive or negative or the, the computer may not see it as positive or negative. Um, but we're going to do that on, you know, we're going to search for a couple of different people to see what see what they're tweeting and whether those tweets are positive or negative. Um, so I've, I've developed this quick little um, application here uh, using Spring Boot and the Spring Framework obviously and the Stanford Natural Language Processing API. The, the Natural Language Processing API is going to be the thing that's going to allow us to you know, determine the, the sentiment from a tweet. Um, so I, I, I'm going to start off by, by demoing this thing working and then we'll, we'll go in and have a look at the code then af afterwards. So I open up my browser, I have this app application running and available on port 8080. So I decided to choose a couple of people here, so um, some famous U U YouTubers and um, the President of the United States, uh, real Donald Trump. Um, just to see what kind of um, you know sentiment is in is in their tweets. So I'm going to start off with my fellow Irishman Jack Septi guy. Um, if you're watching Sean, do you grit? Can us talk to? Um, so let's run this. Uh, so it's it's going to go off, connect to Twitter. It's going to gather up all the late, latest tweets from from uh, Jack Septi guy. And it's going to perform the analysis on those tweets to see whether the tweet has a positive or negative connotation. Um, so we can see here, um, now the scoring on the sentiment is a value from 0 to 4. So there's kind of five levels. Um, 0 is um, basically very negative, 1 is negative, 2 is neutral, 3 is positive, 4 is very positive. Um, so we can see here, if we have a look down through these tweets, you can see um, a tweet say, to somebody saying, you bet I will, so um, that, that has come back as kind of a neutral tweet, so it, it can't determine whether it is positive or negative, it just, just sees it as, as neutral, but if we look down further, we can see a tweet, or a tweet with a sentiment of tree, which is positive, so you can see uh, Sean saying thank you very much. This is fantastic. So that that you can tell straight away that that's a that That's a positive tweet uh, the next one after that um, Well, it scared the shit out of me. So good job. Haha <laughs> Also flattered that you something or other um, So this has come out as positive. So I think the bit in 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 the middle where you're saying, you know, good job <clears throat> It's a it's a positive tweet to whoever he's tweeting to um, obviously we can look down through these um, and see what else is there but that's that's enough of that for now let's have a look at um, let's have a look at PewDiePie so uh, probably one of the biggest youtubers out there um, if he's watching this hey Monica um, but we can see here so um, <clears throat> We can see this this second tweet is marked with a sentiment of one, so that that would be negative. And the texting is yeah, I hate how 
watch time is YouTube's biggest number, I guess. Um, but I guess the, the phrase I hate, or that starting that, that, that out, the, the AI is seeing that as you know something negative. Uh, if we look down further, we can see there's actually a four down here at the bottom. Um, so that would be very positive. I finished Brave New World per some of you guys' recommendation. I liked it a lot. Very interesting. So compared to something. So I liked it a lot. Very interesting. That they are, they are obviously uh, uh, positive things to say. Um, so you can see that it's kind of it's kind of doing a good job of determining whether you know what's being said within these tweets is something positive or something negative. Now let's just let's just have a look at one last one. So if we look at real Donald Trump and see what's coming out of this um, Twitter account. Um, so some positives. Um, Lots of negatives. Let's see. So, so the second tweet here was a positive. We need to keep America safe, including moving away from the random chain migration and lottery systems. So I guess keeping America safe, maybe that that is that that is seen as a positive thing. Obviously, it is. Um, let's see some of the negative ones. Um, this one maybe never say anything derogatory about Haitians other or never said anything derogatory about Haitians other than Haiti is obviously a very poor and troubled country. So I guess very poor and troubled would be kind of negative words to be using within in a tweet and that would be why that uh, tweet was marked as being negative. So you can see that you know this is doing somewhat of a good job on um, determining whether these tweets are have a positive or a negative connotation to them. Um, so let's have a look at how I actually did it. And what will be surprising to you is the amount of code that I needed to write to actually get this to work. There's very, very little. Um, so this is just a simple Spring Boot application. Um, if we have a look at the POM file, you can see I'm just including the Spring Boot Starter Web, um, Spring Social Twitter a API, which allows us to easily connect to Twitter and start pulling da data from their API. And then I have the Stanford Core NLP. So NLP stands for Natural Language Processing. So I have those three APIs here, um, which is this KBP, library is their kind of, I think it's their pre-trained models to, to determine if the text is positive or negative. Um, so, so, so it's basically an AI or neural network that, that comes pre-trained with uh, some, some out-of-the-box um, training that you can use and play, play around with. Obviously in you know, production systems you might want to train this neural network yourself and to get uh, better results. Um, so that's all that I'm importing into the project. So it's very, very um, lightweight. Um, next I have the, obviously, application class, which just uh, starts up the application. Then I have a search controller, which we saw me using here. So we just type in the, the, the URL and then we put someone's username on, on the end of it. URL, so that's what's happening here. So this is just a simple REST controller, and we have a get mapping here, which is forward slash the username. So that would be the Twitter username. So we, we pass that in to the function here, and we, we form our query. So we can see our query is just going to be from colon and then the person's username when that gets replaced there. And then we're just using the Twitter API then to um, perform a search operation. And the search is just that query that we've built here. We get a, a list of results back, or this search results object, which um, contains all the tweets that we got from our, our search. And then we just, we just loop through those tweets. And then we pass each tweet 
the text from each tweet into this uh, NLP service uh, find sentiment method which then returns the sentiment of the tweet which is the 0 to 4 value um, and then we add that to our response and send it back to the browser basically. So if you go and look at the NLP service again it's pretty simple um, we just have this Stanford Core NLP pipeline and we initialize that um, after this service has been created that's what this at post construct does um, we read this properties file in which is here so I leave, I leave a link to the Stanford Core NLP uh, website where you can see the instructions that, that I followed to kind of put this together. And then we have the find sentiment method, which is what, what we pass our tweet data into. Um, so we start off with an initial sentiment of zero. Um, we clean the tweet up. So we have the, I have this other me method here, which, which basically removes all kind of special characters and whatnot, URLs, um, usernames, etc. from the tweets themselves um, so that we just have the basic text that we can kind of try and determine the sentiment from. Um, so then obviously here we're doing, we're putting the tweet data then through the Stanford Core Natural Language Processing a API we're using these uh, sentiment core an annotations, and it's building like the, the the tree that the that the phrases get fed through. And we have the the neural network here, and we use that to get the predicted class of the of the uh, tweet. So so the class is obviously the sentiment. It's 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 classifying the tweet into five different classes either very negative, negative, neutral, positive, or very positive. <clears throat> and then we take that and then we basically return um, the sentiment that was determined for that, for that tweet uh, to our search controller and then obviously back to the, back to the browser. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I won't pretend to understand exactly how this NLP service is working yet. Um, I'm new to AI and machine learning myself, so I kind of have a very loose understanding about how the internals of this work. Um, but I, I kind of un understand the general idea of what I'm trying to do here. Um, it's just handy that the, the guys in Stanford um, released this a a API to make it easy for me to do. Um, another thing you can maybe look look at doing is using Google's TensorFlow to try and do the same thing. So TensorFlow is Google's uh, machine learning a API that they op open sourced um, a while back. Um, but the Java API I think isn't fully supported by them yet and I, I don't think it has the full feature set uh, within it yet. And that's why I kind of went for this Stanford Core at NLP. So. Again, I'll leave the links down, down in the description. Um, if you like this video, obviously, again, subscribe and like. Um, and thanks for watching.